Ma'am, I am. Ma'am, I am. I do not want your MLM. I don't want you to store my food. I don't want you to help my mood, not for my hair, my zits, my clothes. These boss babe vibes I truly loathe. I don't want them to clean my sink. I do not want them for my drink. Not for my skin, my rack, my weight. These boss babe vibes I really hate. Tell me you were duped into joining an MLM without telling me you were duped into joining an MLM. I'll start. This is gonna be like 500 parts. Hi, I'm a former boss babe. I spent seven years in an MLM. More than 11 years ago, I was terminated from a company that I was led to believe I owned. In the 90s, I joined a commercial cult. Has experienced secondhand and essentially, I guess, lost someone to multi-level marketing. I was hurt really, really badly in a multi-level marketing company by a business partner who was also a best friend. Normally I'm very attuned to MLM characteristics, but I trusted this friend because we're both working together on an anti-fascist education workshop series. I did get myself into one and it caused me to move all the way across the country. She's just a modest older woman who cares about activism and leftism. Absolutely zero essential oil, LuLaRoe, come to the seminar vibes. I joined a multi-level marketing company where I deceptively recruited people and I was told to get them in no matter what. I worked in the corporate headquarters of an MLM. And I remember when I was in Mon 8, that if I just kept at it long enough that you two will rise to the top. They're like, you're going to become rich off this. I made false health and income claims. They make you read like all these like becoming rich books. It really did a number on me psychologically and caused me to view all of my human interactions as potential sales. Because of the success I had in that multi-level marketing company, I promoted to the top 2% and earned the Mercedes. There were so many things I wish I'd known before I'd gotten involved in MLM. You have to abide by their rules and what they say, their prices, what they say you can and cannot do, what you can and cannot put on your personal Facebook page. I remember feeling so alone. And we believed in a dream because there was a product being offered. So lost. I was vulnerable. I was looking for something to just fix my life. Like no one else had ever had this happen to them or no one else could possibly feel this way or understand what it was like. Needless to say, didn't fix my life. And I think we probably should have known better, but we didn't because we were sold a dream. They're predatory, they're immoral, and they're disgusting. I don't want you to get scammed out of tens of thousands of dollars the way that I did. I know when I was in it, I didn't I didn't understand. I thought, well, I, I want to get these figures too. I don't know, maybe it's worked out for some people, but it didn't work out for me. None of this stuff is gonna make a bit of difference. You have a snowball's chance in hell of getting to the top of the pyramid. Pyramid schemes, cults, MLMs, whatever you wanna call them. They're not only just like a scam and like shitty, like they're fucking criminal. This is a message for the girl boss community. So if you're not in girl boss, keep scrolling. I wanted to unpack this video a little bit and kind of explain some of the differences between pyramid schemes and multi-level marketing. This is a pyramid scheme and as you can see, Pyramid schemes are bad. Why? Because one person at the top is continually depending on more and more recruits to be recruited and send up their money. And where does most of the money go? That's right, to the person at the top. A multi-level marketing company starts with one girl boss, right? And then she recruits more girl bosses who then recruit more girl bosses. And what do these girl bosses do? They become entrepreneurs. Never heard anyone say we have too many girl bosses. Here's one phrase every woman needs to feel confident saying. It's a pyramid scheme, Beth. I'm not joining. Now stop messaging me. Okay, it is 2023. Okay, it's been about a decade that we've known that MLMs are a scam. 99% of people who work in multi-level marketing do not make any money or lose money. Reason number 4,376 why I hate multi-level marketing companies. If you don't know, Amway is an MLM that recruits vulnerable people to be part of their unpaid reseller workforce. Classic scam stuff. MLMs will never work, and this is like to explain the math for somebody who is not math oriented. Avon, Plexus, LuLaRoe, you are not a business owner. This is if you have to recruit six people, and each person is advised to recruit six people. I am not financially motivated to recruit people beneath me so that I can make more money. One day, like for some reason it comes up that they purposely target the most desperate people. Anyone is capable of being swindled into one of these 
You can't make decent money in an MLM without recruiting. This is just so gross. So exponentially, you're just multiplying this by six. That's it. Very quickly, 13th level, you exceed the world's population. The people that are below you, the 99% of people that aren't earning money that have to lose are working as hard or harder than you and they're getting nothing. Don't even come in my comments saying, well, I don't have anybody in the below me and I make so many dollars. Don't eat, you know you don't. Because I swear to God, every one to two months, there is some rando that I went to high school or college with that I have not seen or heard from since that is hard launching this information about how they're starting a new career path with this insert MLM here. It's not a flex. If you make $200 a month and you spent 200 hours messaging all your friends and trying to get people to buy stuff, those little makeup palettes you see on TikTok where they're like, I have all my makeup in one palette and I'm gonna show you how I put it all over my face. You made a dollar an hour before taxes. You have to prey on the most desperate people because they have the most to lose and they'll invest the most in the product. In an MLM, you are constantly working in these little pockets of time that you say like, oh, you know, it, I can work from wherever. They pulled out all the stops. They had people go around and share their breakthroughs, capital B. I don't want to work from wherever. And if you're in the bottom, what, 96%, you're not going to make any money. You're not working any harder. Your mindset isn't better than your team. In the hospital where I work, 100% of us are paid for our time. Basically, anything that has caused someone you went to high school with to message you out of the blue, hey girl, your family is so beautiful. I have a great opportunity for you. You should join my team. That was a multi-level marketing company. And this is if there's just one multi-level marketing company. I understand, but MLMs are not the answer. It's a pyramid scheme. Hi, bestie boos. Oh my gosh, who is ready to dive into this month's I'm So Wasted product demo day? Did someone say this, girl? Yes, I have been counting down the minutes. MLM companies make illegal health claims and sell products to treat medical conditions with no repercussions for doing so. People who become health coaches or whatever literally have no business offering medical advice. One of my top, top reasons why I hate MLM companies so much, unqualified sales reps making false, unsubstantiated health claims about products. Uh, shilling products that are not tested. Ensures heart health, supports brain function, immune system keeps eyes healthy, nails strong, strengthens bones, promotes gut health. It gets worse. They use buzzwords to make you think they're selling a quality product like detox, green, all natural, sustainable. Read this bit. Proven to help with long COVID. It works. Those skinny wraps, multi-level marketing companies. I think the main reason why I'm so passionate about hating MLMs and always have been is that they prey on desperate people, whether because they're emotionally vulnerable or they're financially screwed. I am a small business owner that helps people improve their overall health and wellness. If you join Beachbody as a distributor, you can call yourself a coach. As a certified personal trainer myself, it drives me freaking bonkers that these people call themselves coaches. I have four years of collegiate level education that allow me to say the things that I say from an educated perspective. Now I've worked with thousands of clients over the past few years, and I've seen firsthand the effects that MLM companies have on people's overall well-being. Beachbody does it again. They have an amazing way of taking something bad and making it even worse. Here are five reasons why Octavia is pretty much the worst fucking diet ever. Their program, Healthy Obsession, is really taking orthorexia and selling it and making money. They recommend you not exercising for the first 30 days on their program. Why is that? Because they're putting you on a starvation diet and it would be extremely unsafe for you to do so. You don't need any sort of qualifications to join Beachbody as a coach. You literally just need to be 18 plus and have a heartbeat. You do not and should not become obsessed with healthy things. And because their compensation plan is designed to incentivize recruiting, they're also out here telling everybody else that they too can be a coach. They don't have qualifications to be giving you or anyone else nutritional advice. But these people join, they call themselves coaches, and then all of a sudden they think they're qualified to start telling people how they should be working out, how they should be eating, and what supplements they should be taking. And the aforementioned buzzwords, along with several others, are there is no certification process for those. Three pieces of sugar-free gum as a snack if you're hungry. 
Hate to break it to you, but sugar-free gum is not a fucking snack. That is disordered. This is actually a diagnosis. It's called orthorexia. This is not good. It's no wonder why people are regularly getting nutrient deficiencies and losing their hair as a result of this program. Saying that you're going to be accepting people and be more inclusive and then tell people they need to work out, need to portion out their food, need to do all these things, should be doing all this, should be doing all this, no. The business model is a scam and these products are shit. Not to mention way overpriced. This is what happens when you're at the top of the pyramid. MLM companies use unethical marketing tactics that rely on exploiting individuals' insecurities and even their financial situation. I feel like that's how they began in people. One of the biggest reasons that multi-level marketing is the worst is that multi-level marketing is one of the most anti-woman things that you can do in your whole life. The message of my work is focused in intersectional feminism and anti-abuse advocacy. College students, divorcees, widows, desperate and vulnerable people of all ages, genders, and races, but mostly white and mostly women. You're also a victim, but there's no way to participate in the structure without being predatory towards others. Because for me to be successful in multi-level marketing, I step on the heads of my fellow sisters. Hi, girlfriends. Oh my goodness, who's ready to cheers to this Monday's quit whining and drink product haul? You get the mama's about to be so drunk, extra large glass that holds an entire bottle of wine, also valued at $8,000, makes the $19,000 sign up fee totally worth it, girls. There have been several documentaries exposing these companies as being fraudulent and scams. It wasn't until two years ago on social media by listening to an interview on Instagram. I watched Lula Rich by Stephen Hassan and Douglas M. Brooks that I realized the MLM conference even exists. Did you think I didn't see part of the LulaRo documentary? And it led me down a rabbit hole, if you will, of anti-MLM content. People are sharing their stories, mostly women's stories who had also been harmed. Feeling less alone and ashamed about getting caught up in abusive or manipulative or culty structures. Social media had a huge impact on me and my eventual desire to share my story. That's not only healing for them, but also is so informational and is so helpful to so many people that have been in that position. By close friends, family members, people they loved, people they at one time trusted. Who are currently in that position, who are thinking about joining MLMs. I went back to that documentary in my head and I said, I'm just gonna Google it. But about 20 minutes before the Zoom call she invited me to, I decided to do a little research. Honestly. <sighs> you should get on your phones and Google Amway scam because that's exactly what you're being roped into. Go on YouTube and Google Smart Circle. All I had to do was type into the search bar, is Landmark A, and Google did the rest for me. Is Landmark a cult? Is it a pyramid scheme? Is it an MLM? You know, most reputable companies don't have entire threads and web articles devoted to answering whether or not they're an MLM. This is a new era, thanks to social media and hashtags that can unite, like hashtag me too and hashtag I got out. Anti-MLM activism is effective. Not only are we pushing for lasting change within the MLM industry, but we're reaching those who are currently involved in MLMs. If someone wants to be in an MLM, that is completely up to them. We didn't even know we were working for an MLM. I didn't know what an MLM was. But they should be able to make informed consent. Anti-MLM activism is important because without it, millions of people would be left feeling hopeless. Had I not found the content in had the opportunity to feel cognitive dissonance, I would have never made the decision to finally walk away from the industry. Our voices on social media are making a real impact, empowering this new culture of critical thinking. Uh, I started following others who'd been in MLMs. They'd be left feeling defeated and hurting financially with no idea where to go next. It helped me wake up and exit and then start speaking out. And by speaking out, we're showing them that their lack of success is not their fault and they're not alone in their struggle. I never did find out if anyone actually left the seminar because of my actions, but I like to think that I planted enough of a seed of doubt for them to make their own informed decision about what they were getting into. It's helped create more safe spaces on social media for people to speak out. It lets people know that they aren't alone. They're not alone. But if I had felt alone and like I was the only one, I may have stayed. 
So now I educate people about the deception within the multi-level marketing industry. It's helping people to discern the deceptive tactics used. And to the people who said like, oh, I'm only in it for the discount. It's like saying that you're a treasurer for the mafia. Just because you're not out there doing the crime stuff doesn't mean you're not enabling the crimey people. I'm so grateful for all of the continued advocacy and uh, experts that are speaking out in a social media platform to really let survivors like me know that it's not our fault, that this industry has a long history of abuse. To identify and pinpoint that red flag behavior and just giving them the information that there is hope to steer clear to inform others and to possibly come out themselves and that they aren't a failure and to avoid getting sucked in and that's where we come in <gasps> hey happy sunday girls what a beautiful sunday here in utah oh my gosh it is absolutely gorgeous life is honestly perfect I never thought I deserved this life, but now I know I do. And the next time you see me, I will be in that Tahoe girl. I'm manifesting. I get thousands of emails from you girls a day. And the number one question I get asked, do you have any regrets? <sighs> what a tough question. I have one regret and that is, I said no to Joni's uh, opportunity probably 20 times. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, Joni. Oh, and if I would have just said yes, if I would have gotten out of my own way, I could have been Million Dollar Moms Club by now, but just say yes to every opportunity, but especially this business. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm running so late. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, girl, I'm not missing my exit this time. Tell me you're in a cult without telling me that you're in a cult. My sister just said that it felt like I was in a cult. She's not wrong, let's unpack that. The social media advocacy out here about MLM cults and commercial cults was something that was real and something that had happened to me. MLMs like to use cult techniques. If online testimonies are to be believed, can involve breaking people down emotionally, not letting them use the bathroom, and other cult-like recruitment tactics. These companies use so many different tactics. Challenges and like tasks like prospecting people and do a video about, you know, the exfoliating berry scrub. And I recognize so many of the same course tactics that impacted me. And they also like to make it so that they are completely isolated from their friends and family. Seeing the isolation. The way that they just be trying to like make you think you have no other choice but to be in that company. And the MLM is their entire world. I'm really passionate about joining forces with the anti-MLM movement and the anti-cult movement to help educate the public about the dangers and the signs to look for. They like to make these women feel like they have a purpose and that purpose is with that MLM. I use the products every day and I post them in my stories every day. Seeing how it's infiltrated their lives. I'm using them every day, so I might as well post them and talk about them every day. So if you leave your MLM, you've lost your purpose, your friendships, your social life, your money, and you're giving up on your family because you could be a millionaire, but you're walking away from it. It's what makes getting people out of MLMs so difficult. These are their friends, their community. They treat them like family and trying to tell them that their family is wrong is hard. While my business had gotten terminated and I knew something had happened, I didn't realize the psychological abuse that I had gone through. It's your personal mindset that's holding you back. That if I just kept at it long enough that you too will rise to the top. That if you live life with the mentality that you're not enough, it's like wearing these goggles that distort your perspective. And as long as you're wearing those goggles, then you'll never achieve greatness. How they were manipulated and how they were brought into these situations. And only serious players are gonna run with us. You need to transform, you need a breakthrough. And for the low, low price of $495, you can become part of our unpaid reseller workforce. How deep it is and how, and how devastating it can be. I fully, fully believed it. And what's even more complex is that being an MLM turns you into an abuser yourself. And eventually, if you get to the highest level, you can have a breakthrough and all of your problems will go away. If you need a personal breakthrough, go to therapy. Because these MLMs are very good at manipulating women. As a survivor of both partner abuse and MLM, I can see the correlation between personal abuse and group abuse. The same gaslighting and love bombing and cycles of devaluation that I experienced in my 
personal romantic relationship, I also experienced inside MLM. Don't trust these guys. They are a pyramid scheme. They're a scam. Get out while you still can. And they give them a community of people who seem like they really want to help them, that they really have their best interests at heart when they're really just trying to extract as much money from them as possible. I made up a fake quote from one of the executives at Herbalife, and then I emailed it to him. And the quote said, want to get out of the nine to five cycle? You just have to recruit nine to five friends and they have to recruit nine to five friends. And then your friends' friends need to recruit nine to five friends. And now they're the ones stuck in the nine to five cycle because if they don't recruit nine to five people nine to five times, they'll be part of the 89% of Herbalife distributors that make zero dollars per year. Don't be shocked. You're shocked? You're shocked? Our online advocacy is reaching the public as well, preventing others from joining MLMs and falling into the same trap. The DSA and MLMs are concerned, and rightly so. We need more regulation on this industry. They need to start asking themselves the hard questions. Do they truly care about the well-being of their customers and members? Your people are doing the work. Your people are buying most of these products. Are they willing to take accountability and responsibility? We need to put consumers first and protect them from predatory behavior that is signature for many MLMs. This person, they only got $166 in their personal sales, but they don't care because their downline is working for them and they got $120 grand from their downline. Are they deeply listening to people's experiences and concerns and making changes? This is what's going on in Mon 8, and I think it's safe to say that this is what's going on across companies. It just gives you a really good idea. We're helping them to see that they're fighting a losing battle within a system that does not work. These people aren't failures. The system has failed them because it was designed to do that. The statistics never change across any of these companies. Are they committed to creating a fair and just business environment that puts people first? And rebranding and calling yourself body doesn't make anything different. This has been, is still, and will continue to be a very toxic company. In my opinion, many of the companies and the top distributors fail to provide the needed information for people to make that informed consent. Because I feel we're not going to stop speaking out until we see real lasting change within the MLM industry. We can warn people and at the same time blow the lid off the shame and break the stigmas around MLMs, cults, and cons in general. So let's keep speaking up together until people are no longer exploited for profit. So anti-MLM content, the Lula Rich documentary, those two things together absolutely helped me make my decision. I fully support anti-MLM. I am inspired by the work that you guys are doing. So thank you, anti-MLM movement and to all of the creators. Keep the information coming and thank you so much for doing what you do. You're making an impact. I'm proud to be on the right side of history, shining light and spreading awareness. Hello, Roberta. So in response to your request for your presentation about the state of the anti-MLM movement today, putting it into some historical context, I just want to affirm my experience, having published a book in 1997, exposing multi-level marketing. From that point and working with other colleagues through 2015 or 16, we were so alone back then, and so many millions of people were unable to get really any information about the truth of multi-level marketing. I can say that this has just changed. It's a sea change. It's almost a miracle. The level of courage now being expressed by people, the willingness to speak out, share their experience, their knowledge, it's really incredible. Thank you for your work and all your colleagues on social media who are now uh, working so hard at this. It's making a difference. I can see the end of multi-level marketing in the near term. 
uh, or certainly it's, it's great decline. And that's a benefit to millions of people. So keep up the great work.